from the roof at the Case Center in Boston, it's Patriot League men's basketball on ESPN. Today, it's the Boston University Terriers hosting the Loyola University Maryland Greyhound. Malcolm Chemezi will take a turn on Golden DK, and he rolls it in for two. Uh, the growth of Malcolm Chemezi, offensive player, but he filled it up in steals as well. This Loyola team, one of the best in the conference in steals year in and year out. Nice work, Kuzemka to Faure for the dunk inside. Now for Brown, shot clock at three. Brown steps back for a supersized three and gets it. We were just talking about fortuitous, but another guard being able to beat him off the dribble and then get right to the rim. Loyola by three. Ethan finds Otto Landrum. He can't hit the reverse. Gets the follow and rolls it in for his first two. Uh, again, Otto Landrum active is in a different spot. He threw that ball way off to the right. EBW for another three. This one in the corner and a kiss to the family. Well, great be you very excited with that partnership in general. Skip pass by Miles Brewster. The Terriers trying to build on a three-point lead, and it's now a six-point lead, thanks to Kalen Jones. I told Faure and Kuzemka. Kuzemka with the deep ball, and it goes at the buzzer. So it'll be a two-point game. It's when he gets there. Second foul on Dion Perry on that whistle. And Jonas Harper, another climb up the list as he's now at 198 career three-pointers. Shot clock at five. Morales trying to free himself for a three, and he buries it over Golden DK. Doug, what about the, uh, the one that Loyola won against the Terriers? Samuel Gibbs in there for the first time for Loyola as well. The freshman from Rye, New York. Morales misses the step back. The put back though for Walter White and one. Well, second chance points, that's what happens against a zone is that you're kind of forced into the open look and they're knocking them down. Oh, great move inside. Ethan Britton Watts with the layup on the fast break after the miss by Kuzemka. And EBW gets fouled. He'll get a chance. Roof. Terriers looking for their 10th win of the season, and Jonas Harper drills another three, and it's a 20-point BU lead. Uh, good for to see for Jonas Harper again. Another and the buzzer will sound, and the Terriers will officially put an end to that very frustrating four-game losing streak. The Terriers win this one by a score of 66 to 53. 13 points from the Terriers senior guard, Ethan Britton Watts, and Ethan, I know for you, Four game losing streak is over. How good does that feel? That's the only thing that matters, man. Forget the points, forget the assists, all that. Just want to get the win. When you come into a game like this at home after a couple of tough games on the road, what was the response or what were you looking for to get out of today? Uh, just toughness, you know, being able to fight through adversity. We got a, a lot of old guys, so we, you know, we've been through this process before. We were the same record or close to the same last year around this time, so just staying tough and, you know, fight through adversity. Ethan, turnovers has been a main factor for BU the last two games as one of the ball handlers on this team. What have you seen out there? Uh, I mean, I just got to take care of the ball. Us point guards, just got to be better. That's it. You're willing to take all the credit and blame yeah. for that as I well? Mean, not all the credit, but me being the point guard, <laughs> I got to take care of it and then everybody else will follow suit. Ethan, I know there's a big one coming up on Monday night. You get a chance to enjoy this, but how excited are you for some of these rematches coming up in conference play? I'm super excited, man. We didn't we didn't play our best at Colgate, so they're coming to us, and we're looking forward to it, man. Just taking it day by day. Congratulations, Thank Ethan. You. We'll see you Monday night. Ethan Brenton Watts on one side, and now moving over to Associate Head Coach Curtis Wilson. And Kurt, I'll ask you the same question. During this four-game losing streak, obviously a lot of things went wrong. How good does it feel to get back to the winning record? Feels great. It's all about staying together. You know, coaches and teachers every day. Stay together. Stay the course. Don't give up on each other. It's hard. Well, this was a game that was not wire to wire. We saw Loyola jump out to a six-point advantage. BU was able to respond. What was what did you see from this team in terms of their response to be able to take that double-digit lead? One possession at a time. Just figuring out how we needed to get stops and then figure out how we needed to execute on the offensive end to try to go on a run where we can put some points together. One of the other things that I wanted to mention was that all 10 players scored. As you look at this team, I'm sure that's something you're looking at saying, that needs to happen more often. Love it. <laughs> Love it. You know, I, I think we have a lot of guys on our team that can put the ball in the basket. You know, and sometimes it's not your night. You know, so 
it's always about the next guy being able to pick us up and, and try to help us get to the winner's circle. And quickly, I have to ask, we, we can now move on to the next game, a rematch with Colgate. Colgate, again, coming into today 7-0. Uh, I know that's just the next game on the schedule, but uh, how do you feel playing that after a nice win here this afternoon? Well, they're always going to be tough. R regardless if you, if you won or lost a game before, you got to come in focused because uh, they're a very disciplined team. They're very talented. Uh, but we seem to play them pretty well. You know, we just got to be able to finish it out. Hopefully. Kurt, thank you so much. All we'll right. see you Monday night. Right, Doug, obviously they're ready for Monday.